hello guys welcome to the new series in this series we are going to build a contact management system using one stack technologies so this is a completely new series uh, we are going to build the contact management system from scratch using one stack uh, and we are going to use mongodb express node.js and react on the front end so basically it is this is going to be a full stack web application we are also uh, going to integrate authentication system every user uh, will have the accessibility to create their own accounts and log in into their accounts similarly they will have uh, separate contacts for them uh, so every user will have their own contacts and they will be able to do crowd operations on that so without wasting any time let's get started so I will open my command pre command prompt here and we are going to create here two directory client and a server so we are going to put every uh, server related files in our server folder and react project in the client folder so similarly uh, i am going to the server folder and i am going to open their visual studio code so in order to install the node node node.js dependencies or express.js you have to first install npm you can use either npm or yarn i will choose I will use uh, yarn in this series because I prefer yarn over npm because of performance issues. So I am going to use yarn here. So I will just uh, use here yarn in it. So hit enter and just skip this all parts. And this is going to generate a package.json file in our project. So if you are using npm you can similarly use npm in it hyphen y. I am I have just used yarn so this has initialized package .json file as you can see so now I am going to install some of the dependencies in order to install in npm you have to write npm install or npm i and then package names in yarn you have to write yarn add so I will use yarn here so I will write yarn add express mongoose and then course similarly we are going to also we are also going to require Morgan and I think this is it pretty much for now as of because we are going to install some of the more dependency later on in this video while we are going to integrate uh, react app into our project so I think this is it for now so while it is getting installed uh, let's get our app.js files so let's also create some directories as well so I will create here models directory where we will put every database related files in our models directory similarly we will have controllers directory where we will put everything controllers in that directory we will have routes we are going to separate all our apis endpoints in this directory similarly uh, and i don't think we need some more directories so i think this is it pretty much so now again i am going to create here app.js file so basically we are going to set up a very basic initial server for our uh, project so I am going to require here express module and I am also going to require mongoose and we are going to initialize our app if you don't know express.js uh, just uh, scroll through my previous videos you will see there are a bunch of uh, videos I have made upon node.js and express.js and also I have taught there how to connect to, to the databases so if you haven't watched that video make sure to watch it because you won't uh, understand anything if you haven't uh, watched my express video tutorial so I have created here uh, initialized our express app and we are going to um, put some of the middlewares here similarly we will have some routes here and at the end we will have server configurations so we are going to define here a port so we are going to integrate it from the runtime environment if there are any port available and if there are, if there is not we will we are going to use the 8000 port uh, you can also choose uh, something around 4000 but don't choose 3000 because this port is will be used in the future by our react project so i have defined our port now let's uh, listen on this port by our server so this is going to return as a callback and we are just simply going to console.log that server listening on port on this port so i am also going to uh, modify package.json file and i will write here 
uh, scripts and I'm going to define my own custom script for this project so I write here devs and I'll I'm simply going to run at nodeman app.js and I'm also going to change the main file of our project to the app.js file so if I will do now yarn run dev or if you're using npm you can simply write npm run dev so I'll write here yarn run dev so as you can see it has given a given us a message server listening on port 3000 similarly we are also going to uh, define here a very basic route that is home route and we'll have a request response and let's just send right now hello world so let's go open our firefox and visit 8000 sorry it's 3000 <laughs> let me define it 8000 if i refresh here as you can see uh, it is uh, giving us a message of hello world so i think this is pretty much uh, for now so now let's define here some uh, use some of the middlewares here so you are going to use a uh, json so what this will do is we are going to send uh, responses in json format so this middleware will help us to send re response back in json format so we will write here just simply return restore json so this is going to return in json format and it will also help us to parse the body data similarly we are also going to use uh, morgan so before using it we have to first require it so i'll write here const morgan is equal to require morgan and we are going to use here morgan tiny so what this will do is if uh, we will hit any api endpoint this is going to log in our console so if i will refresh here as you can see uh, it is logging our endpoint with request and the time it took to send back response so this is a very uh, useful library that you can use while developing our application so as you can see we have set up our very basic basic in initial server so i want to also uh, connect uh, my app to the mongodb database so let's just remove it we are going to use uh, separate file for this so we are going to define here config and we will have here a separate db.js file so this will have a connect db function and this is going to be a sync function so we are going to uh, return here a, prom a promise so I'll add here const mongos require mongos and we are going to simply uh, return a promise here mongos.connect and we are going to uh, yeah. let's uh, use for now a simple string mongodb slash localhost you can define the port here 207017 or you can just simply leave it blank and directly jump into giving a database name so i'll write here contact mon so previously you have to define here some of the arguments but uh, it is now depreciated so you don't have to define anymore so we are also going to uh, chain on a promise and it is going to return us a callback that if the database was connected successfully we are simply going to console console.log uh, we are simply going to log out that uh, connection to database established and if there were any error we are just simply going to console.log that error as you can see so now in order to use this function in our app we have to export this function so as you can see i have exported this function out so now we can i think we guess uh, i think i can use this here so one more thing uh, we don't want our app to be started before uh, the mongodb database connection established so what do i mean by this uh, we don't our, uh, we don't want our app to be uh, executed until our app successfully connects to our database so we are simply going to 
await for the database connection I will write a connect to DB function and let's see this in action so it is in uh, okay we have to define here async because we are using this await keyword as you can see our app is firstly getting connected to the database then it is listening on our port so which is a pretty good thing for our app because our app uh, will not start if there were any error while connecting to the database similarly if we have uh, used here await we have to also wrap it in try catch because we don't want our error to shut down all our application right <laughs> so we are simply going to uh, catch that error and lock them out as you can see I think this looks pretty well now so our MongoDB connection has also been established and if you are if you are getting any trouble while connecting to the database make sure you go to the command prompt or terminal whatever depending upon your opting system just go there and type mongo so this will uh, start the MongoDB server and it will listen on the port 27017 and it will wait for the incoming requests so as you can see we have completely set up a base uh, completely set up basic initial server for our uh, app so later on uh, we will uh, develop some more routes and models and controllers for our API we are going to build a API just full API and later on we are going to combine them and connect to the client to our react app so i'll see you in the next video